You know that moment when you found a great mutual through the internet and they give you recommendations on stuff you have never heard before. This is one of those moments as I explore One Dance, a manga that portrays the art in dancing. It all begins with our main protagonist, Kabaku Kotani, a high school student who struggles to speak due to his constant st stuttering. Well, I know that pain. And tries to live his high school life without drawing attention. He pretends to go along with everything and act like a normal high school student hang out with friends and just keeping it low and normal as possible until one day he saw another first year just dancing like no one is there watching her or showing no care who, to whoever is around her. He was so interested by the way she was able to express herself so freely without care to anyone seeing her he couldn't take his eyes off her. He couldn't tell what she was thinking but that left him to think about how cute she is. During one lesson he looked over to see that girl Ikari Wanda is sitting next to him and that opened for him to interact and chat with her. Kabaku asks Wanda, Kabaku asks Wanda, does she like dancing? And one of the cute key traits of Wanda is her expressions. She has a small soft appearance, but she does make the most wildest expressions to build up her personality. As they were chatting, Kabaku apologizing for his constant stuttering and explains he doesn't do it on purpose. And Wanda re replies back that it doesn't bother her. This was a moment you can tell in Kabaku's eyes is this was one of the first times someone wasn't thinking weirdly about his stuttering issues. They continue to interact later on and Kabaku explains why he doesn't dance himself and that's because he felt in the past when he dances in front of people they were laughing at him to the point he was embarrassed. This is one of the experiences that destroyed Kabaku's self-confidence and reminds him why to never stand in the spotlight. Back to when Wanda was asked does she dance? She said yes and we learned that the reason she loves to dance is because She's bad at expressing herself with words, which is something Kabaku can relate to. After seeing Wanda's dance one last time, he knew he wanted to dance with her and decides to join the dancing club along with her despite having no skills and knowing how to do the running man. He felt embarrassed, but Wanda didn't laugh but opened up to him to help him practice his moves. This is the start to one dance, and from then on, we explore Kabaku's journey becoming a dancer along with Wanda. But then as we explore Kabaku joining the dance club, even though he was the only male despite another senpai who's never present for sessions and experiences the struggles of dancing and those who have high skill like the club leader and Wanda herself. Like for real, she literally just did the Jojo pose and the leader was like, yes, perfect. One thing I like about protagonists like Kabaku is when they have social issues and just plain awkwardness, it's, just, it's, it's a good thing because these are stories where we get to see how they can break out of their shells and develop into something that burns inside them with passion. Wanda is one of the key characters to help with Kabaku's growth because he struggles to breathe when all eyes are on him, but Wanda will be the key to his development when he only focuses on her. I'm only two volumes in so far, but I feel like there's a lot to open about why one dance is a manga that should be known. What really grabbed me to this manga is how it reminded me of when I first read My Dress Up Darling back in 2021. And we see two characters bond together to do things they both love and have passion for, build up such an entertaining premise around it. This opened my eyes to stuff like One Dance and think about how mangakas can take one theme you may never experience yourself and think, huh, this subject looks so fun and interesting and create an actual story based on that activity. One Dance has many key features that really brings itself to a unique taste. One of the examples is One Dance's paneling. When you are in the normal scenes, it may feel no different, but the genius idea is by the use of the panels is expressing movement through still images, and that really works well with the dancing moments as One Dance portrays a session through panel art, building a visual story of the way the characters dance, even small movement. The creator continues to use paneling to guide us visually to learning a dance sequence. Another detail that is really intriguing about One Dance, how they actually use real song titles in the sequences, and that is actually one of the most interesting things to think about when you're reading manga. You can listen to a manga's anime adaption soundtrack, you could listen to lo-fi beats, chill music, or some of your favorite artists to get you into a nice chill state to read manga. But with this, you get to find out what they are dancing to with the actual titles and the artists behind it. Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, and even remixes of songs. It really helps to set, set the tone of the scene and the accuracy of how they're specifically moving to. One Dance is definitely a manga to look into and explore the world of dancing and the fun and pressure behind it and witness potential of something special. Let's take a moment to appreciate the manga 
Puffy Sensei and the amount of detail he put into this manga. I hope that once I get my hands on the third volume or I just continue reading it, I hope this uh, series keeps building up the tension and I want to see more of the relationship between Kabaku and Wanda and just some more cute Wanda moments of course because Honestly, like her expressions really bring the series like fun moments together. I honestly it is it is such a cute thing to read. And that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future content. And yeah, thank you and sayonara. Go read one dance.